sorry. They're driving me f***ing crazy. It's so loud. I know, and they're shaking the friggin' house. Residents on this Riverdale Street have been documenting what they say is unbearable construction. Okay, no sleeping tonight. I'll come out here. And they're just pounding in a buzz saw. It was 1.25 in the morning. My house is rumbling. My picture frames have all moved. My glass is moving. Um, and we haven't had any sleep. The construction is for the Ontario line, a new 15.6 kilometer subway line that will run from Exhibition Place through downtown to the Ontario Science Centre. Metrolink says it's the largest transit expansion in Canadian history. But these residents say their health and their homes are not being taken into consideration. I'm afraid in the middle of the night with this going on that the roof and the drywall is going to cave in. I work from home. I'm woken up during the night. My sleep patterns are like bonkers. My house was shaking so violently uh, last week that a piece of my artwork fell off the wall. And I basically, I'm having it reframed right now. In a statement, Metrolink says that it recognizes that construction of this magnitude can be disruptive and that they're always looking into ways to mitigate these challenges for residents. Adding to reduce impacts of Ontario line construction in this area, it's installing noise barriers between roughly Eastern Avenue and east of Pape Avenue. New retaining walls are also being installed on the rail corridor. Now, I support transit, but how that's being navigated by Metrolinx uh, with their community liaison people in addressing immediate concerns that we're having, um, it's, they're very patronizing. It's very well scripted and very, very dismissive of what everybody's experiencing. When it comes to concerns around property damage, Metrolink says it's offering to conduct structural assessments where any potential damage is carefully documented and says they'll make repairs if there's any damage due to construction. It says it has several noise and vibration monitors in place to ensure that construction impacts stay within acceptable levels. But residents living through it say it's far from acceptable and we're just at my wit's end. I'm actually in the process of arranging to have a structural engineer come in at this point because my house is shaking violently. It's well over 100 years old. She says if Metrolinx doesn't address needed repairs, she's prepared to take legal action. Talia Ricci, CBC News, Toronto.